help enjoy the ride with Crystal Petrie. Hello, I am Crystal Petrie and you are watching the Crystal Petrie Consulting Network. Before I continue on my five tips for communicating effectively, I just want to point out, did you hear my theme song? Did you hear my theme song? Got your girl feeling like Oprah Jr. in these YouTube streets. Did you see my opening clip? Got me feeling like Oprah Jr. <laughs> in these YouTube streets. What do you think about my theme song? What do you think about my opening? I love it. So I know that you will love it too. Now, let's continue with the five tips of communicating effectively. If you would like a entire workshop on this very important subject on how to communicate effectively in life, work, and citizenship, then contact me on my website at capetryllc.com. I will also put the link in the description box below. The fourth way to communicate effectively is to use stories. Everyone from the babies up to the adults loves a good story. Tell a personal story, nothing too personal, but tell a story that would allow the people that you're speaking to, the community, the residents, the, the high schoolers, that would allow them to understand where you are coming from or will show them that you have been where they have been once before. Tell a story. It could be a funny story or a thought-provoking story, but tell a personal story. Maybe not your story, maybe the story of a friend or a family or a coworker, but tell a story. Stories humanize us. This why we love movies. This why we love TV shows. This why we subscribe to Netflix because we love stories. However we can get them, we love them. And your audience will love your stories. So use stories when you want to communicate effectively. And the last way to communicate effectively back it up. Whatever you say that you are going to do, make sure you back it up. It is very, very easy to lose trust amongst people. With something as simple as you said you were going to do something, but you didn't do it. You told them you were going to have this meeting, but you canceled the meeting. You promised that this would be successful, but it's not. So whatever you are telling your target audience that you are going to do, make sure you do it. Make sure it's something that you can accomplish. Make sure it's something that your group your employees, your employer can accomplish. Make sure you back up what you say. There is a quote that is amazing, that really speaks to backing up what it is you say and what it is you do. It's a quote by James Baldwin. And it says, I can't believe what you say because I see what you do. Eventually, if you do not back up what it is you say, people will be hard pressed to believe anything that you do. Now, all five of these are very, very important when it comes to communicating effectively but in my opinion, the most important thing is to back up what it is you say. Because when people lose faith,
faith in you, when people lose trust in you, it is almost impossible to regain that trust from that person, to regain that faith from that person. So back up what it is you say. Quickly, I will go through the top five ways to communicate effectively. Number one, communicate relentlessly. Number two, simplify your message. Number three, hold your thoughts. Number four, use stories. And number five, back it up. Thank you so much for watching the Crystal Petrie Consulting Network. Stay social with me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up on this video and comment down below. Which one do you think is the most important way to communicate effectively? Come on, let's go on a journey. Sit back, buckle up, enjoy the ride with Crystal Petrie. Oh